Many seniors take amlodipine every day, but here's the part almost no one explains. That number printed on your pill, 2.5, 5 or 10 milligrams, can completely change how the medicine works in your body. Some doses protect your blood pressure with fewer side effects. Others bring stronger results, but carry a higher risk of swelling, dizziness or fatigue. And if you've ever wondered, why did my doctor increase me to 10 milligrams or cut me back to 2.5? The answer matters more than you think. Stay with me, because in this video we'll compare all three doses, show you how they affect blood pressure, and reveal the hidden trade-offs most people miss. By the end, you'll know exactly what each dose means for your heart and why choosing the right one could protect your health in the long run. Before we continue, one important reminder. This video is for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. Never change your medication or dosage without speaking to your doctor. Now, let's begin by looking at how amlodipine actually works. Amlodipine belongs to a group of medicines called calcium channel blockers. The name sounds technical, but the idea is simple. Calcium is what allows the muscles in your arteries to tighten. When calcium enters those cells, the vessels squeeze and blood pressure rises. Amlodipine blocks that calcium from getting in. With less calcium, the artery walls stay relaxed. Blood can flow more easily and pressure inside the vessels goes down. This effect is gentle but long-lasting. Amlodipine has a half-life of about 30 to 50 hours, which means it keeps working through the day and night with a single daily dose. That's why doctors often choose it for seniors. It's reliable, effective, and easy to take once a day. But the exact dose, whether 2.5, 5 or 10 milligrams, determines how much the arteries relax and how likely side effects are to appear. Now, let's look at the first dose. Amlodipine 2.5 mg. This is the lowest strength available and doctors usually prescribe it for very specific situations. According to the 2017 American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association guidelines, the standard starting dose for most adults is 5 mg. But in frail seniors, patients with low body weight, or those with liver impairment, Doctors often begin at 2.5 mg to reduce the risk of side effects. Clinical studies show that amlodipine 2.5 mg can lower systolic blood pressure by about 6 to 9 mm of mercury and diastolic pressure by 4 to 5 mm of mercury compared with placebo. That may sound modest, but international data confirm that even a 5 mm of mercury drop in systolic pressure is linked to a 10% reduction in major cardiovascular events. So even this small dose has measurable benefits. Pharmacologically, amlodipine has a very long half-life, between 30 and 50 hours. This means that even the 2.5 mg tablet provides coverage through the day and night, making it reliable for once daily dosing. However, because the concentration in the bloodstream is lower, the blood pressure effect may not be strong enough when used alone. That is why 2.5 mg is often used in combination therapy. In the United States, it is commonly paired with an ACE inhibitor like lisinopril or a thiazide diuretic such as hydrochlorothiazide. The small dose of amlodipine adds gentle vessel relaxation while the partner drug addresses blood volume or hormone pathways. The advantage of 2.5 mg is safety. The risk of ankle swelling, flushing or dizziness is significantly lower than with 5 mg or 10 mg. But the limitation is also clear. For many patients, 2.5 mg on its own will not achieve the target blood pressure. In summary, 2.5 mg is the cautious entry point. It offers a gentle reduction in blood pressure, excellent safety for sensitive patients, and works best when part of a combination treatment plan. Next, 
let's move to the standard dose that most patients begin with. Amlodipine, 5 mg. This is the standard starting dose for most adults in the United States, according to the 2017 ACC AHA Hypertension Guidelines. Doctors often choose 5 mg because it provides a strong balance. Effective blood pressure control with an acceptable rate of side effects. Clinical trial data confirm its effectiveness. On average, amlodipine 5 mg reduces systolic blood pressure by about 8 to 12 mm of mercury and diastolic pressure by 5 to 8 mm of mercury. This level of reduction is often enough to bring patients with stage 1 hypertension back into the target range. In fact, Large comparative studies show that 5 mg is the most frequently prescribed dose worldwide, especially for seniors. Pharmacologically, amlodipine's long half-life, 30 to 50 hours, ensures that once daily dosing keeps blood pressure stable both during the day and at night. This is one reason it is favored for older patients who benefit from simple routines and steady control. The side effect profile at 5 mg is moderate. Some patients develop ankle swelling, mild flushing, or headaches. In large observational studies, about 5 to 10% of patients report noticeable edema at this dose. Still, most tolerate 5 mg well, and for many, it becomes their long term maintenance dose. Another advantage is flexibility. If blood pressure remains high, the dose can be increased to 10 mg. If side effects occur, doctors may lower it to 2.5 mg or combine 5 mg with another medication, such as an ACE inhibitor or ARB, instead of increasing the dose. In summary, 5 mg is the workhorse dose of amlodipine. It delivers meaningful blood pressure reduction for the majority of patients, with side effects that are manageable and predictable. Next, let's look at the strongest dosage. The third dose is amlodipine 10 mg. This is the highest commonly prescribed strength, and doctors usually reserve it for patients whose blood pressure is not controlled with 5 mg alone. It represents the upper end of the recommended daily range in US and international guidelines. Clinical data show that moving from 5 mg to 10 mg provides an additional 4 to 6 mm of mercury drop in systolic pressure and 2 to 3 mm of mercury in diastolic pressure on average. For some patients, this difference is enough to reach the treatment goal and prevent cardiovascular complications. For example, the ALLHAT trial, one of the largest hypertension studies ever conducted, confirmed that amlodipine at 10 mg was highly effective at lowering blood pressure and reducing the risk of stroke compared with placebo. Pharmacologically, the longer half-life of amlodipine supports once-daily dosing even at this higher strength, keeping blood pressure stable across the 24-hour cycle. But with stronger effect comes higher risk. At 10 mg, side effects become more frequent. Studies show that ankle swelling occurs in up to 15 to 20% of patients, and the likelihood of flushing, headaches, and fatigue also rises. Gingival overgrowth, thickening of the gums, is a rare but documented long-term effect at higher doses. These risks are especially relevant in seniors, where vascular stiffness and reduced kidney function can amplify fluid retention. For this reason, many doctors prefer combining amlodipine 5 mg with another medication, such as an ACE inhibitor or ARB, rather than going straight to 10 mg. Combination therapy often provides stronger blood pressure reduction with fewer side effects, since each drug works through a different pathway. In summary, 10 mg is the maximum strength that delivers the most powerful blood pressure reduction. It can be life-saving for patients with stubborn hypertension, but it comes at the cost of more frequent side effects. That's why doctors carefully weigh the decision to raise the dose, 
especially in older adults. Now that we've reviewed all three doses, let's compare them side by side. At 2.5 mg, amlodipine offers a gentle effect. It is well tolerated and carries the lowest chance of problems, but on its own, it often cannot keep blood pressure within the target range. Doctors usually use it in frail seniors, lighter patients, or as part of a combination plan. At 5 mg, the medicine delivers steady and reliable control. This is the dose most patients begin with because it provides meaningful pressure reduction while keeping side effects at a manageable level. For many, it becomes the long-term maintenance dose. At 10 mg, amlodipine reaches its maximum strength. It can lower blood pressure further, but it is also the point where unwanted effects like leg swelling, flushing, or daytime tiredness become more common. That is why doctors are cautious, especially with older adults, and often prefer adding a second medicine instead of pushing the dose higher. The comparison makes one thing clear. The right dose is never one size fits all. It depends on your body, your other medications, and your doctor's plan. This is why careful monitoring and adjustment are essential. Next, let's move to some practical advice for seniors who may be taking amlodipine at any of these strengths. 